Hi guys, it's Melissa with Halo Creative Designs and today I'm going to show you how to create a terry bow using your Pro Bow the Hand. A terry bow is a specific bow recipe created by Terry Marshall of Mill and Dull Designs using her Pro Bow. A terry bow consists of six um, ribbon. It doesn't matter what the width is. You can use two and a half inch, one and a half inch. Shoot, you can use it, even use four inch. It's whatever your project um, requires, whatever you have on hand. Um, for this one, I am going to use five two and a half inch and one one and a half inch. So to get started, you're gonna need, of course, your probo the hand, um, your ribbon, and two pieces of floral wire, 26 gauge. That's what um, Regina Sellers, the creator of Pro Bow the Hand, recommends. But um, if you don't have 26 gauge, you can surely use 24 gauge. I have used 22 gauge. It's hard, but I have used it because that's all I had on hand at the moment. So um, I, I am using 26 gauge for this project. So I'm going to get my first piece here ready and my first ribbon. Now this is the beginning of a roll, so I'm going to dovetail here. Dovetail is where you cut your, or your fold your ribbon in half, and you cut from your folded point down to the tip. So just like that. And it gives you this nice little V-cut design. Okay. So as you can see on your Probo the Hand, there's different rows. You know what, I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it. There's different rows, and they're lettered. The bow that I'm making today, we're gonna do on um, row, hmm, I'm not sure which one I wanna do. Row D, we're gonna do row D. And you'll need six fingers on each side, leaving the center hole open. For other bow recipes, you will put a peg there, but for this bow recipe, you do not. So you've got your base finger, six on the left, six on the right. Now you're gonna take your first ribbon and where your base finger, that's like your center point. You wanna measure out the tip to be your row B and where your ribbon meets the center, put your pinch there, okay, just like that. And you're gonna take one piece of your floral wire, come up from the bottom. So you've got your pretty side on top, come up from the bottom and just twist it around once and bring them back to the top, okay? So you've got your, your floral wire back on the top of your ribbon, just like that. Now take the part where your, your uh, floral wire is coming out and place that about halfway down of your base finger on the back. Just hold it with your thumb. Take one piece of floral wire and bring it to the bottom. One piece of floral wire to the top. Take this top piece and wrap it around the base finger, kind of wrapping it on top of itself. But leave a little um, tail sticking out so you can grab it to pull when you're done. Okay, take the piece of floral wire that you brought to the bottom and you're gonna loop it around the nail that's on the outside here. And then put the piece of, of the floral wire that's sticking out under your board, okay? So from here you can let go. It's holding your ribbon for you um, and you can start your bow. So I just, I scissor my fingers like this. I do that and loop it around that first peg okay I don't pull really hard the the floral wire and the pegs your probo is holding your bow for you so you don't need to pull very hard but after you've made that loop where your ribbon comes back to your the center of your base finger make another pinch and twist and the twist brings the pretty side of your ribbon back up to the top Okay, so just take your little tail that you started with and, you know, make sure it's on this side of the peg, it's out of your way. Scissor your fingers, loop around that peg, okay? When your ribbon gets back to this, your base finger, do your pinch and twist, okay? Now at this point, you're going to take your second piece of floral wire. 
and you're going to run it down the center between your two your two loops here run it down the center to the right side of um, your base finger and just pull your ends even and kind of work it behind your peg okay your base finger and then you're just going to give it a twist one twist that's all okay and you're going to have one going up and one going down just like this okay so now we want to measure our other tail you're going to measure out to B and just cut it with your dovetail in it wow that didn't want to cut <laughs> just like that okay and move that tail up between the pegs so it's out of your way so you have officially done your first ribbon on your terry bow your second ribbon we need to cut the dovetail in so you fold it in half cut from your folded edge down to a point I'm gonna switch out scissors those are not my good scissors sorry guys okay so we cut our dovetail detail in it okay now pretty side up you're gonna measure this tail um, out to, to C or between B and C and then put your pinch where your ribbon meets your base finger take your pinch and lay it in next and then tie off with your floral wire now one thing I want to say and stress is when you're laying on your ribbon you want to come straight out and layer them on top of each other you want them to be straight in line with your base finger and on top of each other so they just stack out if it's a little off it's not gonna matter that much but if it's off a lot um, your bow at the end may not open as pretty and shape as pretty as you would want it to so again just loop around the next peg create your pinch twist to turn your pretty side up and then loop around the next peg make your pinch where it meets your base finger and twist and then use your floral wire pull it tight each time make sure you're pulling it really tight and give it one twist just like that okay then you'll measure out this tail and cut your dovetail into it let's see where are we right there okay cut your dovetail in beautiful now we're going to move on to our third color cut our dovetail Okay. measure out to between the C and the D make your pinch lay it in and tie it down one time make your loop over your third finger bring it back and pinch and twist your next loop bring it back to your base finger pinch and twist and then you'll take your floral wire pull it tight and give it one one tie and measure this tail and cut your dovetail into it Just like that. Whoops, I rolled this one up a little bit. All right, now we're on to our fourth. Again, measure out to between D and E. Make your pinch. Lay it in your base finger and tie it off once. 
make your loops, bring it back to your base finger and pinch and twist. Make your next loop. Bring it back to your base finger and twist. And then tie off with your floral wire, pulling it tight, tying off once. Then measure your tail and cut your dovetail. All right. Fifth ribbon, cut our dovetail, measure out to a little past D, make your pinch, lay it into the stack on your base finger, tie it once. Loop it. Bring it back to your base finger and pinch. Then twist. Loop it over your next loop. Bring it back. Pinch and twist. Tie it off with your floral wire. Tie it tight. Okay. Then measure out your tail and cut your dovetail. All right. Last ribbon. Let's cut our dovetail. Going to measure it out to E. Ooh, this is a really thick, thick <laughs> painted burlap. It's heavy. All right, bring it to your base finger. Tie it off one time. Loop it over that last finger. Bring it back to the base finger. Make your pinch. Loop it over the last finger on this side. Bring it back to your, your base finger. Make your last pinch here. And twist. And tie it off really tight. Give it a couple of good twists at this point because you're done. Right, I'm gonna measure our tail and cut our dovetail. All right, so we have officially finished a Terry bow on your pro bow. Now we get to fluff. Let me clear things out of the way here. So as you see, they're a little crooked, but I did my best to keep them lined up. Um, they're all fairly even and level and for the most part, you know, straight as I can keep them. Um, so at this point, you're going to take the tail that you left hanging around your base finger from that first piece of wire. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get to because I get the bow wrapped around it. But take that little tail and pull and twist, uh, go in a circle. So you pull it off, okay? Then take the piece that you wrapped around the nail and pull it off. So now you've got four pieces of wire. Take the two you just unsecured from the base finger and the nail and start to tighten this down and just pull them apart as hard as you can. If you need to, you can use your thumb to press against the base finger, you know, to squish them up even more. Whoops. So, once you get it tight, just give it a few good twists, okay? So, now we're going to pull our bow off. 
to do that, I mean, the fingers are gonna come out. I usually just pull out my center finger so I can get in under it and pull my bow off like this. So I'm gonna move this part of the bow maker out of the way and I'm gonna grab what's called a fluff box. This is a weighted box that you tie your bow down to for um, when you're wanting to fluff it before you put it on your wreath or wherever you're putting it in your swag. Okay, so you take one wire, hook it around the top, and the other one around the nail on the side. Okay, so now your bow is secure and you can tug and pull as you need to. So you're gonna start on one side and on the bottom, you're gonna pull a tail and a loop opposite each other, okay? Take your next one on this side, and if you pull the loop this side, next one you're gonna pull a tail, okay? Kind of twist your loops and put your hand in them to give them shape and body. So you just alternate that pattern going up your bow until you've opened all of your loops. like that. Okay, when you've finished one side, you start with the other. And the same thing, if you pulled the tail to this side of that color, make sure that you've got a loop coming from this side. Okay? And just follow the same pattern. Opposite. And I'm giving really, you know, a good hard tug to separate the ribbon here and make it stand up nice and pretty. All right, guys, here is a Terry bow. Isn't that just gorgeous? And once you put it on your wreath, you can play with it and move it around and get it in the position that you like. Um, but this is, yeah, this is, a completed terry bow. I'm going to unsecure it from our fluff box here. Mm, I can't see under it. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, come out. There we go. All right. So here is terry bow. Isn't it gorgeous? Just like that. I'm going to move the fluff box so you can see it a little better. Here's the terry bow. Like I said, once you get it placed on your wreath, you can go and shape it and lay the, the tails and loops where you need to on your, your wreath or your swag. But, all right, guys. This is a completed terry bow. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll try to answer as I can. And uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for my next one. Have a good day.